Hi, it's Parker with ScreenBeam. In this video, I'll be walking you through the setup for ScreenBeam Conference, a new feature for the ScreenBeam 1100 Plus that allows users to wirelessly connect to in-room video conferencing peripherals. Setup should take less than five minutes, and we'll cover it all in this video. To get started, you'll need the following. Your ScreenBeam 1100 Plus on the latest firmware, a network connection for your ScreenBeam, and Ethernet strongly recommended here, your USB video conferencing peripherals, like this all-in-one video bar, your Windows 10 device. Mac OS support will be coming soon. The first thing you're going to do is connect your ScreenBeam to your network. I'll use an Ethernet cable. If you want to connect your ScreenBeam to your Wi-Fi network, check out the link in the video description for a detailed walkthrough, but we don't recommend that process for ScreenBeam Conference. You'll use your Windows 10 PC to connect to the local management interface of the ScreenBeam by opening a web browser on the PC and typing in the IP address of the ScreenBeam, which is shown on the Ready to Connect screen. Log in to the local management interface with the default username Administrator with a capital A and the default password ScreenBeam, all lowercase. Go to the Firmware Upgrade tab and click on the Check for Updates button to see if a newer firmware version is available, and then you can have it download and install the firmware straight to your ScreenBeam. Once you've got the latest firmware on your screen beam, go back to the local management interface and go to the video conferencing tab. Click on the install button next to the screen beam conference option. Now you're ready to connect your USB video conferencing peripherals. We recommend using the USB 2.0 ports on the screen beam. If your video conferencing peripherals have a separate power supply, be sure to plug that in first. Some video conferencing peripherals need more power than the USB 2.0 ports on the screen beam can supply. For those peripherals, you'll need to connect through a powered USB hub. Learn more about known compatible devices by checking out the link in the video description. After connecting the USB video conferencing peripherals, go to the Maintenance tab and select Reboot. It's recommended to always reboot the screen beam after connecting new USB video conferencing peripherals. The final step is to install the screen beam conference software on your Windows 10 PC. Just open a web browser and go to screenbeam.com slash gitconference to download the latest software. Run the installer and you're good to go. Open the ScreenBeam conference app on your PC. If you want to have a wireless display session only, you can choose Project Only. If you want to use the USB video conferencing peripherals, choose Project in Conference. Then select your ScreenBeam from the Connect menu, type in the pin, click Connect, and in just a few seconds, you'll see the icons for the laptop, display, and video conference peripherals turn blue in the ScreenBeam conference window. That's when you know you're all connected. Open your web conferencing app of choice. Make sure that the in-room microphone and in-room camera and the digital output are selected as the audio and video devices. Then join your meeting. Thank you for joining us for this quick video explaining how to set up ScreenBeam Conference. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're always happy to help. For more tips, tricks, and how-to resources, visit us online at support.screenbeam.com.